the South Central District. I am in the Young Gratis 4 H Club in Union County. Today I'll be talking to you about the living of a boxer. I will talk about grooming, training, exercising, their surroundings, my reflection summary, and my experience with boxers. First, I'll talk to you about grooming. When grooming a boxer, you need a big space because boxers love to move around. You will need a washcloth, shampoo, a cup, a brush, face shampoo, face spray. Boxers have sensitive heads. They do not like water on their ears or neck. Do you know how many times to wash your boxer? You should wash your boxer twice a month. Here's a fun fact. Boxers have a thin, smooth coat. Next, I'll talk about training a boxer. When a boxer is at least one year old, you need to start training it. A boxer dog is a very easy, easily to train. To get started, get some, tr some dog treats and hold in front of the dog and tell him or her to sit and push on his bottom till him or her sits. Then reward it with a treat. You can do the same with shake, lay, and stay. Did you know that boxers were trained to fight with other dogs in the early days? Well, now you do. Some supplies you will need to train. A collar, treat, treats, a crate for house training. The next thing I will talk about is exercising. Did you know that dogs, that boxer dogs love to run and play? A boxer's favorite toy is a ball. The park is a good place to take them to run. It has plenty of space. If you live in a neighborhood, you can take them for a walk around the neighborhood. The other thing I will talk about is their surroundings. Boxers love to chew on things like shoes. So I will put things that you don't want to be chewed on a high shelf. You will want a medium backyard for them to run. You will need a bucket of water out for the, for the dog so they won't get dehydrated. Make sure the dog food is put in a high place where they can't reach. Here's another fun fact. Boxers are a medium sized dog. I reflection some. At the beginning, I thought this was going to be a crazy thing to do. But after I realized a while, I realized that it was going to be interesting and I could learn a lot on how boxers live. So I decided to do the presentation on how boxers live. I have had a lot of experience with boxers for 13 years. In 2000, my family got a boxer and his name was Roscoe. I grew up with him for 13 years. He recently passed away this year. And we got another boxer named Jasmine. She was a nice boxer. She passed away a couple years ago. Then we got a rescue boxer named Daisy. She has had two litters of puppies since we've had, had her. We cut a boxer out of the first litter. His name is Duke. He's a white, bo he's a white boxer with a brown eye. Then at, from the second litter came another white boxer named Charger. He also had a white eye on the opposite side. Um, we kept him because he got very sick and we weren't sure if he was going to stay alive. Now you see that I have had a lot of experience with boxers. Do the judges have any questions? Wow, that was very good. You obviously have a passion for boxers. <laughs> I can tell that. That's great. Did you do any of the training on any of your boxers? Have you done that? Was it fairly simple, easy to do with them? I've never had a boxer. I have bloodhounds, so yeah, they're a little hard-headed. <laughs> 